Welcome back to Calabama Cooking. I'm Chef Lori. It's so excited to have you with me today. Today we're making Calabama style corn fritters. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so corn fritters are like amazing. When I was a little girl, my grandma used to call fried cornbread strength. So whenever she didn't feel good, if you say, Grandma, you okay? She'd say, yes, baby, I made me some strength and I feel better. <laughs> well, she was literally just taking cornbread and then she would fry it like a little Johnny cake. It was delicious. But today I'm gonna make corn fritters. And I'll admit, you guys, I've seen a whole lot of my YouTube cooks making corn fritters lately and they have looked so amazing till I was like, shoot, I want in on the action, so I'm making Calabana style corn fritters. So let me start off by showing you our ingredients. Okay guys, here are the basic ingredients for corn fritters. We've got some flour, some corn, some buttermilk, and salt, and some baking powder, and an egg. Now those are the basic, can you see the egg? There, those are the basic ingredients for corn fritters. Now I'm making these Calabama style, which means I've also got some cheese, some paprika, and some seasoned pepper, because that's just how I roll. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start first with our flour. Go ahead and use a whisk. I'm gonna mix into that. I got a little sugar in here too. And I have a little sugar in here because um, sugar makes the world go round, baby. <laughs> and there's some salt and baking powder. The baking powder helps to make them nice and fluffy. Okay, we're gonna add in a little paprika so they can have a little bit of a smoky flavor to them. It's Calabama style cooking. And this is our um, Chef Laurie's seasoned pepper. And this has just a nice pepper blend in it. It's really not a spicy pepper, but it's a very flavorful pepper. So I like using it. And we have salt in here too. All right, so that's gonna be our dry ingredients. Now over here, we're gonna take our um, milk product and we're going to add to it one egg. Now I'm saying milk product like it ain't real milk. It's actually cream, but you can use cream, you can use buttermilk, you can use evaporated milk. You can really use whatever you want. You can use anything, just or just plain milk is fine too. Okay, so I've just whisked this egg in here. So the egg is mixed up in our milk, okay? And then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to pour my wet ingredients right here in with my dry ingredients. Okay, just like so. Then I'm going to add my corn here. You can use fresh corn, canned corn, or frozen corn. If you use frozen corn, just defrost it first, okay? And then I'm gonna add the cheese last. And we're just gonna mix this up. See, this, this is, a, it's so easy to make these, but I like the seasonings and the flavor. I've also made these before, you guys, with onions in them, like, you know, cooked up some onions and bell peppers first. Whew, nothing like it. See, it's, this is how simple it is to make corn fritters. It's gonna be a good day in my house. And then I'm gonna add this cheese. I'm only using about half a cup of cheese today because I'm not making a ton of corn fritters. I'm just making a few. I'm making enough for my waistline to be <laughs> not so happy. <laughs> okay, now that these are mixed up, we're gonna head over to our oil and we're gonna get ready to fry these babies. Okay guys, I'm using my cast iron skillet today. I've got some peanut oil in it. You see my little test piece I put in there to see if my oil was hot enough? She's ready. So I'm just gonna use my scooper, okay? Take in a scoop here, okay? And I'm just gonna put them in the oil and just let them start cooking up. I don't make them too big, because if you make them too big, it's hard to judge their doneness. It takes them longer to cook, you know? You just want them big enough that you can Get them in there, flip them around a few times, take them out and eat them. There we go. They take about two to three minutes on each side to fry. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. It's been a couple of minutes. See how nice and golden brown they come out? Just that simple, it's that simple. It smells like my grandmama cooking her strength. <laughs> I told y'all about that. One of my little test pieces came out and popped that. Mmm, oh yeah. Oh, that's good. We having corn fritters, we having corn fritters, we having corn. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 I'll stop, I'll stop, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take these out. I'm going to put them onto a cookie sheet that has a baking tray on top of it. And the reason I have this baking tray here is so that they can stay crispy when I take them out. I don't want all of the oil to reabsorb into them on the paper towel. 
So I'm gonna take them out and put them on this so that they drain through and they stay nice and crispy. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at this, you guys. I'm gonna fry up the rest of these and then I will be back to show you the finished product. Well, they are done and oh my goodness. Okay, look, 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 look. I hope you see it. Can you see it? I gotta get it to focus. There we go. Now hold up. Look at this. Look at that beautiful inside. Can you see that? It's smoking. Oh, this looks so good, y'all. Okay, I should use a fork to eat it and have some decency, but. Mmm. Four words. Won't he do it? Oh my God. These are thebomb.com. Okay. Mm. My day just getting better. All right, y'all. Thanks for being with me today. Please make these. These are so good. Make them how you want them. Tell me what you put in them. In the comment section below, tell me what do you put in your corn fritters or what would you like to try in your corn fritters? Because these things right here, oh my, won't he do it? That's all I got to say, won't he do it? I hear shouting music in the sky. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you next time right here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with Chef Lorius. Have a great day. Happy cooking.